Hello, welcome to Chuckadelphia. Today, we're going to be talking about special adjectives that you can use to describe the one that matters to you. Is that? Oh my goodness. So sit, sit back, relax, and come along with me for the ride. Oh my god! Ah! and welcome to the command center of Chuckadelphia. Do you have a significant other? Do you like someone? What words would you use to describe the significant other or the object of your affection? Well, let this be a helpful guide for you in how you can talk about your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, fiance, fiance, or crush. So sit back, forget about the problems of the world, and enjoy this new vocabulary lesson from Chuckadelphia. So the first word we're going to be talking about is the word cute. Cute simply means that someone is nice looking. But you got to be careful because sometimes when people think of cute, they associate it with puppy dogs or friends. Okay. So if you call someone cute and you still like them, you, know, you, you should still flirt with them. Because if they hear cute, they might think, oh, they just think of me as a friend or, or their puppy dog or something like that or their pet lizard. I don't know. Okay, so just be careful if you call someone cute. So another adjective that we have is the adjective charming. And when we call someone charming, it simply means that they have a nice way of acting around others. And people typically enjoy being with them. They might be funny, they might be cute, they might know how to communicate well with other people. In fact, charming is such a cool word that Disney used it as one of its princes, Prince Charming. Okay, Aww. so if someone says that you're charming, that's a pretty cool compliment. Now the next two adjectives that I'm going to describe are going to go together, obviously, for certain reasons. Fun and funny. And oftentimes people confuse these two. And there is a slight difference between them because someone that is funny can also be fun. Okay? But there are some things that are fun that aren't funny. Okay? So, for example, if you go to an amusement park and you ride a roller coaster and it's really scary and it makes your stomach cringe and you feel sick, it's not necessarily funny, but you might have fun on it, okay? So when we describe a person that is fun, it means that it is pleasant to be around them. It is nice to be around them. They're entertaining. You enjoy your time with them. They're a fun person. Whereas a funny person is someone that makes you laugh. You know, they tell jokes or they're pretty witty. And, you know, like they, they say certain things that just, they just know how to make you laugh. So that person would be funny. <laughs> you know so yes a person can be fun and funny but be careful because like i said there's a slight difference between the two and this duplicates in other areas of life so an experience can be fun it could also be funny it depends on what you want your listener or your reader to understand about that experience so now we have some adjectives that we might use to describe the way that people look now earlier i mentioned cute Okay, now you might call a puppy dog cute, a turtle cute, uh, your brother, sister cute, but you know, when you're dating somebody, you might want to use some other words like good looking. Now, good looking is a word that we would say that we would use to say that someone is physically attractive. Okay, we would say, um, she is good looking or he is good looking. We wouldn't necessarily say that about our dog. I love my dog, Charlie, but I wouldn't say Charlie is good looking. I might say he is cute. Maybe handsome, but not good looking, right? And then we have pretty, and pretty is a word that we use to describe a woman who is nice to look at. And then we have the obvious one, beautiful, but a synonym of beautiful is gorgeous. And that's a word that we might use to describe a man or a woman who is very, very good looking. Well, beautiful is typically reserved for women. And then we have handsome. Handsome is a word that we use to describe a man who is good looking or a cute puppy like Charlie. I know it's hard to say this, but many people feel that we live in a superficial world, a world in which many people feel that you fall in love with a person based on his or her appearance, their looks, but that's not always the case. Many times people fall in love with other people because of other reasons, other factors, their level of intelligence, okay? So maybe they are a smart person. If someone is smart, that means they are intelligent. They can, you know, they know a lot of things and they can 
think very well and problem solve very well. And then maybe you might consider someone as clever. And someone that is clever is simply someone that can learn things quickly and they can problem solve something too, okay? Uh, maybe they think outside of the box or they have an unorthodox approach towards solving problems and that person would be considered clever. What about the people that take care of you? They always take care of you. They always look out for you, right? If your, your tire goes flat on the highway and they come out and take care of you, right? Or if you feel sick and they go to the store for you and they bring you something, those are some special people, okay? So we have some adjectives for people like that. A person that is caring is a person that cares about other people and is kind and helpful to them, right? So if you feel sick, maybe your friend would stop by your school or university and bring homework home to you and they take care of you like that. They are a caring person. Or if you're sick, they make soup for you and they make sure that you are, are okay, okay? And that is a caring person. Another way to describe someone like this would be thoughtful. Someone that is thoughtful is someone that thinks about the needs of other people and then they try to meet those needs. So if I know that you're a person that likes things done a certain way and I try to complete those needs, take care of those needs in that way, that might mean that I'm thoughtful, okay? If you, if you like to have a back massage after you go hiking and I give you a back massage after you go hiking, that might make me a thoughtful person. A considerate person. Well, considerate is another word. Let's talk about considerate. Now, considerate is often confused with the verb consider. Okay? Now, consider as a regular verb ends in an ed and it's pronounced considered. Okay? But many times people say considerate. Now, consider means to think, right? To problem solve. So if I say I considered going to the movies, it means I thought about going to the movies. You understand? but the pronunciation is considered. Now the adjective considerate is, again, is someone that considers what other people need and they try to take care of those needs. They try to help them. So someone that goes out of their way to make sure you are fine is someone that is considerate, okay? Not considerate, you understand? So Chuck and Elfia, this is about it for today. I think at the end of the day, the most important thing is that we all try to find someone that we have good chemistry with, you know, someone that we are compatible with. And overall, that's what it's all about. The most important thing, I think, is that we end up with someone that cares about us, someone that does not take us for granted, someone that appreciates us. The worst thing is when you end up in a relationship with someone that doesn't care about you and they use you, and that's, that's just an awful feeling. So. I hope that if you are in love, if you are in a relationship, you are with someone that takes good care of you and, in, and that everything is reciprocal. You give the same that you get out of the relationship and hopefully nobody is unhappy, okay? So this is Chuck coming from Chuck Adelphia in the Command Center. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you are being safe. And I want to remind you that yes, you do not need a classroom to learn. The world is your classroom. You can go anywhere you want to learn. And I appreciate that you came here to Chuck and Elfie to learn this lesson. So, have a wonderful day. As always, carpe diem. And a big, fat, ciao, ciao.